The audio is good, the volume is good. I mean, every volume is good. Okay, so we're just waiting for a couple more people to join in on the live. Tell your friend, tell your neighbor. Awesome. I 
I don't want to chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Wednesday night Bible study. We are so glad that you would have taken the time to stop by and to join us as we spend some time just studying the Word of God. We trust and we pray that everything that you would hear here tonight, that it would be beneficial to you, that you would really be able to tap in to the Word of God, even in your, your houses. Gather your families, gather your neighbors, your friends, let them know as we're holding the center. We are live right now with our Bible study. All right, so we're going to go straight into it. It's already 7 15. So let's just open up in prayer and then hand you straight over to Reverend Samson. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks, God. We give you praise for who you are. We exalt your holy name just because you are God. Lord, you are God all by yourself. Even in these times, God, even in the midst of our circumstances, in the midst of God, of all that we're facing in the world, God, you are still God and you are still good. So we just give you glory and we give you honor, oh God. And we ask even now, Lord, that as we would spend time studying your word, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would impart wisdom unto us, God, that you would help us to really draw near unto you, God. And even in the comfort of our homes, Lord, that we'd be able to tap in, to your presence, Lord, tap in to the wisdom of your will. Have your own way, O God, and pour out a special blessing, O God, upon the viewership right now, O God. In Jesus' almighty name, amen. So, without further ado, I will hand you over to Reverend Samson. Um, grab your pens, grab your, your notepads, your Bible, as we delve into the word of God tonight. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Renisha. And to the saints of God, uh, blessed good night to you. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our soon-coming King. Truly, this COVID-19 is creating some waves. It is causing the church to step up and to do things um, different. And truly, as I would have said, on Sunday last, for those who tuned in, truly I believe that God is just creating some great avenues for the church to expand its horizon, expand its borders as we take the gospel good news of our Savior, who is Christ the Lord, 
to the far, far reaches of this nation. Um, we have said it over and over again. It's not a church on the run. It's a church that is uh, being relevant, a church that is being real, a church that is, you know, really listening to what God has said in his word and presenting it to you, the listenership. We thank you for those uh, of you who have chosen to, to log in tonight to this broadcast by our live stream, whether Instagram or Facebook. Um, we can't otherwise have it where we are in the church. Um, different times call for different measures. So these are some of the measures that we have sought, resorted to implementing our live stream that will continue until we get updates, until our prime minister, the leaders of our nation, and we thank God for them. Let us continue to you know, thank God for our prime minister and, and all the leaders, minister of health, minister of national security, all those who are on a daily basis coming together, meeting, developing strategies uh, to keep the nation uh, informed about what is taking place. Uh, so even whilst we we experience uh, this pandemic, uh, you know, for many of us, this is our first. Uh, some of us may say, well, yeah, we experience the coup. Um, we're seeing that this ain't nothing. Uh, the coup can't compare to this, to those of our fathers who may have been around for the plague uh, or some of the other um, diseases and, and um, epidemics and pandemics that have hit the earth, uh, this still uh, um, is so different to what we have uh, experienced and what even our forefathers or ancestors uh, would have experienced. It, uh, it has been touching. Um, WHO um, statistics today said it's touched 197 um, areas of the world and uh, in excess of 416,000 now uh, um, affected by the disease. Um, up to the last time that we had here in Trinidad, our numbers are at 60. I'm not sure if there are any changes as to that. We have been, <coughs> excuse me, we have been discussing a preparation since the beginning of the year for increase, a preparation for God to move his people. But that's what we believe. You know, we are a move of God and we believe that God is about moving his people to the, the next level to where he would have the church to be. So as you join me tonight, excuse me. <coughs> no, it's not Corona. <laughs> we, have, we thank God for such an opportunity. And we have been talking about being prepared for increase. And we would have learned in the past weeks that we were made with power and potential for increase. For those who, who joined last week, we would have spoke about four Ps. We'd have spoke, we'd have spoken about preparation. We'd have spoken about prophecy and what God has said in his word. We have we, we spoke about the importance to be correctly positioned in the season. And we spoke about the whole concept of planning. Those were what we would have been talking about as we have been encouraging the church, encouraging the body of Christ in encouraging those who are chosen to to follow those who probably still thinking about following following jesus thinking about about giving their lives to the lord we have been encouraging the, the faithful you know in some principles that would help them to to improve their standard of living improve the way we view things improve the way that you know we see and understand what god has said in his word so you know a number of things that we we looked at that we have been reading from Joshua chapter 3 and uh, verses 1 to 5. And uh, we must understand that in the midst of this, this COVID-19, uh, you know, that God has said a number of things. And, and what we took away from Joshua chapter 3, verses 1 to 5, 1 to 7, actually is Joshua getting a call and, and receiving the call from God to move the people into the promised land. And when we examined what God would have said to Joshua to say to the people of God, the children of Israel, and we apply it to our lives today, we recognize that in the midst of coronavirus, in the midst of COVID-19, in the midst of lockdown, in the midst of quarantine, in the midst of, of, of life changing from what we have grown accustomed, there are four points, as I said, that we can we can take away um, from it, I mean, and if we were to look at it, just to review it quickly, one, 
um, preparation, the whole concept of being prepared, we recognize straight off uh, that the church, uh, the church must be prepared in this time. We all as a people need to be prepared. Um, when you see what is going on, um, you're hearing deaths. You're hearing widespread infection. We, we're hearing about spreading of the virus because a lot of people were not uh, prepared. So the story, you know, in, in the book of Joshua, where Joshua, the man of God, the captain, you know, I mean, who, who took over moving the children of Israel into the promised land, we see one of the things that God would have called Joshua to do was to prepare. I, I say to you, friends, those that are listening on the broadcast, uh, uh, preparation uh, is uh, extremely important, you know, and God would have given given Joshua some, some words uh, to say to the people. And if you would have listened to Joshua in chapter 3 and verse 2, and it says, at the end of three days, uh, the officers went through the camp and commanded the people as soon as you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God being carried by the, the priests, then you shall set out from your place and follow it. Yeah. Yet there shall be a distance between you and it about 2,000 cubits in length. Do not come near it in order that you may know the way you shall go, for you have not passed this way before. Then Joshua said to the people, Consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among, among you. Amen. Amen. And we, we give God thanks for, for his word. And we, 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 we have come to understand from reading the word of God in the book of Joshua that God would have said to Joshua, who then spoke to the people to prepare there was a sense of preparation. So you're outside there. Sister Renisha would have said to you, get your pen and your paper out. So the first word I want you to write down is preparation. <clears throat> there must be a preparation, the people of God, to hear from God and to receive what God has in store for us. Likewise, we are seeing if the minister of health have not been having all these uh, these meetings with, with the, the doctors and the, the chief medical officer of health uh, and, and all the other, other players, the nurses and, and those working in the labs who are doing the tests. They had to come together and devise a strategy to prepare. I say to you, if there wasn't proper preparation, we heard it from our prime minister, if there wasn't proper preparation in facing COVID-19, our numbers of 60 would have been a, a lot greater. Somebody say amen. Thank you, Jesus, that it's not a, as bad as some of the other nations. It's it's bad. It's it's 60 too much. But we thank God that, you know, it is still at a place, you know, it's, it's still being managed. The healthcare system is not under pressure. So we thank God for that. This is a season of preparation. The second P is it's a season of prophecy. Amen. And, and now Joshua was moving based on prophecy, on a prophetic word of God. In chapter 1, God would have spoken to, to Joshua. And in chapter 1, it says, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, into the land that I am going, giving to them, to the people of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you. Just as I promised to Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea, to water the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you, hallelujah, all the days of your life. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Glory to God. We give God thanks tonight that, you know, the, the, the prophetic word of God 
had you know that is what joshua in chapter three uh, was functioning he was functioning uh, under the prophetic uh, i say to you today uh, as we experience uh, this disease uh, we we can now you know go into the word of god uh, you know in, in the gospel of matthew chapter 24 and 25 jesus speaks when asked the question what shall be the signs of the end of times and one of the things that Jesus would have replied to those that would have asked the disciples and the and the others who would have asked him was that in the last days there will be pestilence, there, there, there will be famines and, and earthquakes, wars and, and, and rumors of wars, you know, and he was he was precise in some of the things that he said. One of them that he said in Luke, according to Luke chapter 21 was that there will be pestilences. There will be pestilence the such that men will be amazed, men will be perplexed, men will be confused, people's heart will be failing because of fear. So just like in the days of Moses, in Moses and Joshua, Joshua responded to the voice of God under the, the prophetic voice. He was responding based on prophecy. I, I say to us tonight that, uh, that the, the prophetic word of God through Jesus Christ uh, is upon this land, is upon the region, uh, is upon our world. Uh, hallelujah. We, 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 just, we, we are so thankful uh, that we, can, we, we are now experiencing uh, what the prophets would have said uh, in the last days, uh, what, will, uh, what will befall the earth, uh, what will come of the earth. Uh, we thank God, not thank God so much that people are getting sick, that people are dying, that nations are, are under pressure to deal with coronavirus. But we thank God that the prophetic word of God is being revealed in this lifetime as we as we live and move. And we must say that, you know, some of our freedoms are, are, are being taken away, that we are unable to, to go to come into the sanctuary as we used to hey we are having church tonight hallelujah we we are here i am i am i am at home hallelujah you are in your house I, I, i'm hoping you got some 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 neighbors and some friends you know just sitting with you so that we can you know just hear what god is saying and just like the the prophetic word of god would have inspired and moved the man of god joshua to to lead the children of israel into the promise and i say to you tonight it is the voice of god it is what god says to us to do that is what hallelujah we ought to do tonight i, I want to read you know again from the book of De deuteronomy you can turn in your bibles hallelujah to deuteronomy and chapter 8. And you see, one of the things uh, when I'm saying for us, this is a season to remember the prophetic word of God. Uh, amen. You know, all through the ages, uh, God have called his people to remember. Hallelujah. Somebody say remember tonight. God wants us to remember because God uh, is the same yesterday, uh, today, and he will be forever. He's the same God, the same God that would have spoken to Joshua, spoken to Moses. He is the same God that is that is here in the midst of COVID-19. Hallelujah. It may look like as if to some of us that there is no God, that God is not there, that God, you know, has, has forgotten us. Hear what the word of God says. Chapter 8, Deuteronomy. And you shall remember the whole way hallelujah, the whole way, not part of the way, that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandment or not. Hallelujah. He is he, saying to them, and you shall remember. Hallelujah. God wants us to remember. So from even the beginning of time, hallelujah, God even said to Adam and Eve in the garden, he wanted them to remember of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, hallelujah, and the tree of life, two trees, and he needed for them to remember which one to eat from, and which one uh, to leave alone hallelujah and we know the end result uh, of adam and eve not so much uh, not 
Not that they didn't remember, but they chose, hallelujah, to listen to the voice, hallelujah, of the wicked one, of the serpent who deceived Eve, hallelujah, and caused them to fall, hallelujah, from God's original plan and intent. I say tonight, as we face this coronavirus, as we have been forced to modify the way that we we do church where the body of Christ meet. If this COVID-19 continues to evolve and numbers continue to increase as they are right now, we can very well see, you know, further sanctions being placed upon us as the body of Christ. That aside, and so that is why this broadcast is so important. You being part of this broadcast is important. Don't just, you know, look at it as another post, but make it your duty. Hallelujah. Once we send out the notification, you, you invite a friend. You, you call your family together. Come, let us sit now and, and hear what God is saying to us as a people. Because the first thing I said to you, we must be prepared. Hallelujah. We must be prepared because God gave promises from beginning and God is promising us some things now. And we must be prepared. Hallelujah. If we are to receive the promises of God, we must, the second thing, be obedient to the prophetic word of God. God said to the children of Israel, and you shall remember Hallelujah. You shall remember all, the whole way, everything that I have done for you. Saints of God, could I submit to you tonight? One of the reasons why at times we, we, we tend to turn our eyes away from God is that we fail to remember. We refuse to remember what God has done. It's easy for us to say, look what the Lord has done. Heal my body. You know, but it's another thing for us to put into action because we remember faith without works is dead. So we can sing, look what the Lord has done, all we want. Amen. And if we we fail when we when the tests face us uh, right now, COVID-19 uh, is a test for the people of God, uh, the children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would some of us fall away? Would it be because we, we don't have to come in the sanctuary as we used to? Would we now, you know, decide, well, our lifestyles can change. We can do things differently. Or would we draw nearer to God? Would we go deeper in our relationship with God, in, in the time we spend with God? Hallelujah. I give God praise tonight. The third thing that we, we have been speaking about, the four P's I said to you, the third P is a positioning. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank God. And when we looked at, at, at the man of God, when we looked at Joshua, Joshua would have said to the children of Israel through the captains and the commanders under him, hallelujah, he wanted them to do particular things. One of the things he said to them is when you see the priests moving, hallelujah, with the ark of the covenant, for those who don't know or don't remember, hallelujah, you have never heard the story, the ark of the covenant, hallelujah, was the representation of a holy God in the midst of the Israelites' camp. Hallelujah. Hey, so so we, we thank God uh, that, that what God has said to Joshua to say to the people uh, is keep your eyes on God. Amen. And he said, when you see the priests uh, moving, uh, hallelujah, when they move out uh, with the Ark of the Covenant, uh, change your position uh, and follow it. And I'm saying to you tonight, COVID-19, coronavirus, all 400 and something cases how many thousands have died how many how much are still uncertain as to their status some have self-quarantined some are forced quarantine some are still being searched out by the authorities because they may have come into contact with one or the other persons i'm saying in this season that we are, that this is a season of proper positioning. I say to the church, I say to the saints of God, as we prepare to receive what God has promised to us, hallelujah, that this be a season of right and proper positioning, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God said to Joshua to say to them, when you see the Ark of the Covenant, follow it. 
hallelujah move from your position i submit to us tonight uh, there are some of you looking um here tonight some of you yeah you 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 put off some things uh, to come to listen to this broadcast uh, amen hallelujah some of you just not in a right place tonight uh, some of you need uh, to position yourself uh, properly so that you can truly receive uh, from God hallelujah this is a good a time as as any you're a family member you somebody or friend of, of, of somebody who who chose to listen to this broadcast tonight hallelujah I, I'm saying to you tonight maybe you haven't received Jesus Christ as Lord and you're saying well you know I mean what is man of God talking about 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 proper positioning hallelujah amen I, I don't even really understand that what he's saying to us and i trust god if you continue to stay with us in the coming weeks hallelujah you know you will hear exactly i mean what god is saying to you and what god require of you because it is as we walk in his will hallelujah we will begin to experience hallelujah what he has in store for us so the third pier is that this is a season of positioning what is the position hallelujah thank you jesus what is the position in this season for the church for the body of christ amen this is a season when we should find ourselves on our knees it's a season when we should find ourselves positioned in the word of god listening to what god following the scriptures what has god said about COVID 19 what has god said about what is taking place today what has god said about what i am required to do what has god said there are so many so many questions being asked now you hear him talk about the mark of the beast and you hear him talk about about chip being implanted and so many different things now and i say to you i say to the church i say to believers tonight i speak to non-believers tonight because some of you watching this broadcast you are non-believer perhaps you just you were just invited tonight i say to non-believers tonight as well as believers now is a time for us uh, truly to search uh, the scripture to position uh, ourselves uh, like mary hallelujah at the feet uh, of jesus uh, hallelujah that's a story mary and and martin jesus went to the house of, of lazarus hallelujah and 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 one of the, the story says that 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 martha was 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 busy 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 trying to get food and drinks and make sure everything was okay hallelujah and mary sat at jesus's feet hallelujah and martha went and complained and said jesus but look you know even telling her come and help me amen and jesus said martha don't beat up i mean they're just local parlance now he said martha don't beat up amen mary a chosen a good thing <laughs> mary had chosen what is important amen and and, and and jesus was speaking hallelujah about about sitting and learning from him friends who are looking tonight i said this coronavirus this lockdown quarantine you can't go about no beach lime amen no bars open praise the lord somebody say hallelujah no bars open fathers are at home with their children husbands maybe well, some of them probably still finding places to go we continue to pray for them in jesus name hallelujah but this is a time friends when we can really position ourselves you know and keep our eyes on god through jesus christ seek him isaiah the prophet in chapter 55 verses 6 and 7 says seek the lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near. Hallelujah. We give God thanks. So this season that we in, I said to you, is a season of preparation. We must be prepared. Thank God for Prime Minister Rowley, his team, all the ministers and doctors and nurses. We can say hallelujah. Yeah, there would be critics. There would always be critics. critics. But we can say thank God for Jesus that they were prepared. Small Trinidad was in a better place of preparation for the onslaught of coronavirus than larger nations. Hallelujah. Some people still haven't. Some people still not taking the proper precautions. 
You ask to be prepared by taking certain precautions, stay at home, prevent certain gatherings. The second thing is the prophetic word of God is coming alive. Jesus spoke about it. And in the last days, one of the things that we would face, that will be facing the world, will be epidemics, the likes which we may not have seen prior, the likes that will cause persons to, to, to be confused and perplexed what to do. Because those are the questions that are being asked. The different strains, it, it's behaving differently in some persons as opposed to others. Thank God for Jesus tonight, uh, for his prophetic word. You see, because he doesn't leave us. Uh, he said, Jesus said in that same Luke and 21, and when you shall see these signs, do not be perplexed. Uh, do not be amazed. But know that your redemption draw it near. Hallelujah. We can stand in the word of John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave us Jesus, uh, that whosoever believes, uh, hallelujah. I say one of the things uh, in our preparation in this season uh, is our preparation of belief. Uh, There won't, be, there won't be no relief for some of us. Some of us will not be comforted because we may not be believing. Some of us would still be anxious. Some of us will still be confused. Some of us will be easily misled by, by fake news because we don't believe. Hallelujah. So we must be prepared. We must listen to the, the prophetic word of God and we must be proper position the final p friends is that we must execute proper planning we must plan hallelujah we look into the word of god and we recognize amen that joshua had a plan hallelujah joshua had a plan somebody say joshua had a plan hallelujah amen and i thank god one of the thing that joshua was calling the people and that we need in this season is a change attitude hallelujah towards god and what god says and what he's gonna do amen god had already said to joshua i'm gonna give you every place you put your feet on just like i said to moses i say to, to you again hallelujah i say to you in this period of coronavirus we need to to listen after hearing the word of god and positioning ourselves our planning involves a change heart it involves change lifestyle it involves change actions when we have a change heart and an attitude change life change actions hallelujah we're gonna get some change results we i i thank god that that, that, that this word, uh, amen, is saying to us uh, that coming out of coronavirus, uh, we see a stronger church. Uh, we see people of God standing, uh, hallelujah, stronger, having spent more time, uh, more meaningful time in the presence of God, uh, hallelujah. We see families uh, improving, uh, hallelujah, relationships uh, improving uh, because there, there, there is more time that, for, that families can come together to pray and to, to study the word of God. So I, I, I give you those, uh, those four Ps tonight in the precious in the precious name of jesus amen hallelujah and that's want to take your mind back to deuteronomy chapter 8 and it says and you shall remember the whole way that the lord your god has led you i want you to listen to this carefully now because a lot of people believe uh, hallelujah and they may try to think uh, in the power is in the prime minister or, or in the doctors or, 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 or in somebody. But hear what God said to the children of Israel. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power. And if you if you, you found it in, in the word of God, write it down, underline it in your Bibles, take a note of it, Deuteronomy and chapter 8, verses 17 and 18. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power 
to get wealth, wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. So God made a covenant with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Hallelujah. He made a covenant. Hallelujah. And, and that covenant has been repeated. And that covenant, hallelujah, according to the writer of Hebrews, hallelujah, came in Jesus, hallelujah. A new covenant, a new covenant, hallelujah, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And, 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 and that covenant, friends, gives us, gives us the power, the ability to have power, Jesus said in Acts chapter 1, and I, you will receive power, and you shall be my witnesses. Hallelujah. The greater covenant, hallelujah, God has given to us through Jesus. Jesus made that covenant with his blood. Hallelujah. We learned that the night before he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had broken it, he said, take and eat. This is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The word of God continues that he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he blessed it and gave it a drink, saying, this is my blood. Of the new covenant which is shed for you. So the new covenant, hallelujah, is the precious blood of Jesus. What am I saying to the church tonight what am i saying to believers tonight what i'm saying what am i saying to families tonight i would have shared to you four peace in this season this season of of covid or coronavirus season of uncertainty a season where there is there, there, there is perplexity and and dismay and some some are confused and some don't know what is taking place. Since the beginning of this year, God has been preparing this church and all of us preparing us, telling us about increase, telling us about extraordinary increase. And some of you may have been saying, and I said it to you, some of you when you heard it probably thought I was just thinking and talking about dollars and cents that God was going to be bringing more money for me and, and a bigger house and, and better jobs and stuff like that. And I reminded you at the very beginning of the year that what it may mean for us as the church and as believers, <laughs> hallelujah, is that some of us, uh, like at a time like now, will draw nearer to God. It will be an increase in our ability uh, to praise God and increase in our ability to worship and to, to serve God. It will be for some of us a greater understanding and increase in ability and understanding of the word of God and what God has said in his word. Hallelujah. So for those who are looking for more money, <laughs> those who are looking for, 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 for bigger houses and promotion, hallelujah. I'm not saying those things won't come, but I'm saying God has been preparing us from the beginning of the year, hallelujah, to do certain things, hallelujah. God has been calling us from since January the 1st to be prepared, hallelujah, to be prepared for a shift, hallelujah, a shift in the atmosphere, hallelujah. I reminded the church, a shift in the atmosphere was taking place, God was preparing the church, the children of God, to, to move from a mediocrity, a life of half-hearted service and devotion to God, halfway only wanting to do things if the pastor said, or if somebody else was looking, hallelujah. And if you remember, I encouraged the church, now is a time hallelujah for the man and woman of god to be on fire for god hallelujah when you look at the first p the first p says it's a time friends for you to be prepared covid 19 is calling the church to be prepared hallelujah what you're gonna do the song says we're gonna do 
Hallelujah. When your neighbors come to you, when neighbors ask you, well, what happening? Like, what are you afraid? What happening? Are they not having a church? Would you invite them to our stream? Would you tell them, log in to NHCTT? Hallelujah. Or follow us on Instagram? Would you tell them? Hallelujah. When they look and they see the church doors tonight, Wednesday night, closed up. Hallelujah. Amen. They know that we are there. Would you invite them to follow us? That's the preparation. That is what God was calling us to, to a level of preparation. Hallelujah. Come out. Amen. You remember it? Amen. Come out of your comfort zone. Examine your motives. Do you remember that? Hallelujah. We're we talking about four specific things tonight in the midst of Corona. Hallelujah. As we prepare for what God is doing. I want to encourage you or rather discourage you. You know, so many of us have been, you know, just spending a whole lot of time listening to the conspiracy theories, uh, trying to, 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 to try to make sense uh, of what some of those uh, WhatsApp and other posts are, you know, to try to make sense of them. Some of them, quite frankly, don't make any sense. Amen. But we trust God. Hallelujah. We know that the word of God has never failed. We know that the word of God is not going to fail us today. Hallelujah. We know that just what God says, because his yes is yes, and his no is no. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God that once we prepare ourselves, once there is preparation in this season, like the children of Israel, God wanted them to keep their eyes on the Ark of the Covenant. Friends, I say to you tonight, as we prepare for this season, as we prepare for the evolution of this coronavirus, who knows what tomorrow brings? Who knows what next week, next month will bring? Who knows how long this will last? Who knows when this finish, what is coming next? I want to discourage you tonight. Rather than spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out some of those questions, let us utilize the time that God has given us. Let us be thankful to God uh, that we and our families uh, are still safe, still corona free. Hallelujah. And I, I encourage you also, if you have been exposed to persons who may have traveled uh, with a travel history or somebody who knew somebody with a travel history, do the right thing. Amen. Make it known. Do your self-quarantine. Make it known to the authorities. One of the challenges we're going to have and we're going to be facing in, in the days to come is a lot of people who may have slipped under the radar. Hallelujah. Nobody knows that they were in contact with somebody who may have been affected. That's the challenge we have. So let us not grow reckless as the church. Let us encourage our neighbors, encourage our family, encourage our friend to do the right thing, sanitize, keep our hands clean, sanitize our surfaces, you know, avoid unnecessary movement where there are large crowds of people. Hallelujah. Be prepared in this season. The second P, the word of God is speaking to us loud and clear. The voice of the prophetic is speaking to us loud and clear in this season. Jesus said it in Luke 21. You follow it. You look for it in Luke 21. You know, as a matter of fact, allow me to read it for you so that you will know exactly where to go and find it. Hallelujah. Amen. And Luke 21 says, and there will be signs, verse 25, and there will be signs in sun and moon and stars and on the earth, distress of nations in perplexity. Nations would be distressed and perplexed. Hallelujah. And, 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 and Jesus says, because of the roaring, hallelujah, of, of the sea and the waves, people fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. People, that is the word of God. That is Jesus speaking in Luke chapter 21, verses 20, 20, 24, 25, 26. Read it. It goes on to say, the powers of the heavens will be shaken. 
and then hallelujah so coming out of these signs uh, what we experience in uh, the word of god says the word of god says uh, there will be a shaking so i say to you church we need to be prepared corona may come they may find a cure they may find a vaccine but something may be coming right after corona according to what jesus said in luke 21 there will be a shaking of the earth and the heavens and then hallelujah then they will see the son of man coming in the clouds my question to you tonight are you ready are you ready tonight for peace are you prepared tonight are you prepared to listen to the word of the prophetic to take what you're talking about fake news this ain't no fake news this is live and direct the gospel news of a savior who is christ the lord this ain't no fake news yeah this ain't no whatsapp post i read it to you straight from the word of god amen thank you jesus are you prepared tonight friends as i bring this broadcast to a close are you prepared to take heed to the voice of the prophetic? Are you prepared tonight, having heard the prophetic word of God? Are you prepared tonight to position yourself? Would you position yourself? Would you come out things that may not be pleasing to God? Will you tonight? Will you turn your eyes to God? Will you ask him to cleanse you and make you clean? Will you ask him tonight to, to wash you? Hallelujah. Having done that tonight, having positioned yourself, are you prepared in this season? The season where a lot of people are presenting, who is me? It seems like the end of the world is upon us. Jesus was quite clear. The end is not yet. Jesus soon comes, that we know without a doubt, but there is still time for you, man. Still time for you, woman, somebody who's still not prepared, somebody who feel the prophetic words of God is a Nancy story. Yeah, because somebody tell him that something about some philosophers say that perhaps sung better than the word of God. My question to you that are listening tonight, Whose report would you believe in positioning yourself tonight, in, in, in preparing yourself? Whose word would you believe tonight? And having heard the word of God, having made a decision to position yourself, having heard the prophetic word of God, would you then plan? Would you then plan properly for Jesus soon coming? Hallelujah. Jesus said I would come and, 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 and you know, and, and I would find them and I would tell them when I was sick and imprisoned, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't visit me. Hallelujah. I was hungry, you know, and, and naked. You didn't clothe me. You didn't give me nothing to eat. And many of us, Jesus said in Matthew 24, many of us would say, but Lord, when he was in prison or sick, or when were you hungry or naked and we didn't help you? Jesus standing on his word, his prophetic word again, when he was asked, what is the greatest commandment? Love God with your whole heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. At that time, Jesus will reply, you didn't do it to somebody else. You had a brother, a neighbor, somebody was in prison. We didn't visit them. People were sick, and because we feel they, they, they look for that, we didn't go and visit them. People were hungry, and we turned our backs on them, yeah, because we think that, you know, she, 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 she make all them children, you know, she have a right that she walk and get she money. Would you tonight truly be ready? Would you plan tonight to be in a position that he would find you. Would you be like the five foolish virgins 
or would you be like the five wise cement? I want to take you back to Deuteronomy chapter 8 that says, as I close tonight, that says to us, it is God. It is God who gives us power. Hallelujah. It is God who gives us the power to accomplish all that we can to accomplish and to acquire all that we possess. If it's God that gives us, friends, it stands to reason that we have a responsibility to be prepared. We have a responsibility, hallelujah, to listen to the prophetic word of God. We have a responsibility to position ourselves in the proper place. We have a responsibility to plan properly. Plan just as we're planning, it's just we're preparing to deal with COVID. We're running crazy. We're going by Price Smart. We're going by Pennywise. We go in and try to buy all the supermarkets and ensure we have everything in our homes. Would you be as diligent to ensure that you are ready for Jesus soon coming? That is our word to tonight, friends. I thank you tonight for joining this broadcast. I thank you tonight for availing yourself. Um, it's not Bible study as we know it in NHC. NHC, you know, we allow for questions we allow for persons and probably with the technology we may try some other form of technology where we can have interaction this is me just presenting the, the the study of the word of god giving you an opportunity huh yeah all, all right so i'm just being told by my, my 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 technician that um the listening audience could ask questions i still get it forgive me i'm still getting uh, getting used uh, to the technology so I am told that people can ask questions. I don't know how it's done. They do or they will type it or something. So I think you can you can type uh, you know type your questions if you have any questions because our our Bible study sessions are normally interactive. It's important that I know that you know that you leave you know understanding. I shared with you four P's tonight. It's a review of what we did last week. I God laid on my heart that it was relevant for us in this season as we know. I know a lot of you missed last week's session. Amen. And as we go forward with our Bible study, amen. This is saying to us, hallelujah, God made a covenant. God made a covenant with, with our forefathers, hallelujah. And God made a covenant through Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So that uh, as many, as many of us who believe on him, hallelujah, shall not perish but have everlasting life. Because we know that God sent not his son into this world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Do you have any questions tonight? We don't know how, 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 how the sound was. If we, we heard, you know, please let our technicians know so that um, and the next time we come into studio, we can ensure that we iron out whatever glitches we may have. Amen. I'm, I'm not seeing a technician. Are there any questions? Where, where, the, where will the questions come up? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let's Hallelujah. Go so the technician just trying to help me here. Hallelujah. Any comments? Any comments tonight? If you don't have a question and you just want to, to give a comment, remember we continue our live stream. Look out for our updates from our church secretary. Amen. I just encouraging everybody just to keep the information accurate. I will be feeding the church secretary. You know, she has been designating. To, to post all I'm not taking away from us posting credible information once we know it's we have some information pass it through the church secretary that is to make sure we disseminate proper information hallelujah tonight so if, if there are no questions any comments tonight continue to follow us on Facebook continue to follow us on Instagram amen our young people will be streaming look out for the notification about that on Friday afternoon i'm not sure of their topic as yet amen so so as a church we continue you know we we are asking parents with children home from school 
if you want assistance with your children, you know, probably in a particular topic, the, 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 the NYI department, they have already um, stated that they will be engaging persons on a, on, a, on a basis whereby you have to make an appointment. They will make themselves available by appointment at the church for a couple of hours and afternoons by appointment. Amen. So it's not that they just come in and sit down and hope that people come. If you're interested, you want help for your children, probably to brush up on mathematics or language, let us know. Hallelujah. So as we, 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 we close off this broadcast, could we just bow in prayer tonight? Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father and God, tonight we continue to look to you, God, as the author and finisher of our faith. We bless your holy name tonight. Truly, you are a great God. Truly, you are a mighty God. Truly, there is none like unto you, oh, our God and Father. And tonight, in the precious name of Jesus, uh, God, we say thank you tonight. Uh, thank you that as a church, God, uh, we can still be relevant uh, to the community we serve, oh God. We may be divided by distance, God. We may not be gathering in the sanctuary as we ought and we, as we used to, God, because of restrictions. And as the body of Christ, we want to be obedient. We want to set the right example to our community. For Father, we thank you for this opportunity to, for, for Facebook live stream and for Instagram. God, for the technology, oh God. Thank you for all those who tuned in tonight. Uh, those who made, <coughs> excuse me, made it their business, uh, hallelujah, to stream tonight. Some may not have been able to, perhaps for technical difficulties. Uh, God, uh, we will continue as a church, as the body of Christ, uh, hallelujah, to find ways and means so that we can touch, hallelujah, the community, that we can get the gospel, uh, good news of a Savior who is Christ the Lord uh, into our community. And Father, tonight, uh, as we end uh, this broadcast, uh, oh God, your people, Lord, uh, hallelujah, listen all uh, over the community and other parts of this nation uh, that may have tuned in probably around the Caribbean and around the world, God. Father, I say thank you, Lord, and I pray that you would enable us and empower us, hallelujah, to be prepared, oh God, to prepare not just for corona and now, but for what is coming next, for Jesus soon coming, oh God. Father, that we would, oh God, be prepared and always listen to the prophetic, hallelujah, words of God given to us by the prophets and the apostles, hallelujah, and men and women of God, God, that we will position ourselves, hallelujah, that there are some, oh God, tonight still struggling, still not in a good place tonight, some young man, some young woman tonight, some people still caught up, God, they have extra time, some may be still engaging in pornography and sexual immorality, oh God, hallelujah, I pray tonight, hallelujah, under the prophetic voice, oh God, that according to Isaiah the prophet, they will seek you out tonight whilst you may be found, God. Hallelujah. They will call upon you uh, while you are near because there is coming a time. Uh, hallelujah. It will be no more, God. Uh, they will no more have an opportunity to call upon you, God. Uh, and Father, we pray for proper planning, oh God. Uh, proper planning, oh God, uh, for, for the state. Uh, hallelujah. The prime minister and all the ministers. Uh, oh God, for the church, uh, that the church will plan properly to minister grace uh, to all our communities, uh, all our across uh, this nation uh, and the region and the world, God. Uh, hallelujah. That as individuals, uh, we will prepare and plan properly, God. Uh, plan our lives, oh God. Uh, order our steps, oh God. Uh, allow you to direct us, oh God. Uh, oh God, we may have many plans, oh God. Uh, but it's your plan uh, that must prevail. Uh, so God, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise in the mighty name of Jesus tonight, oh God. We say have your divine way tonight as we continue to look to you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Bless us tonight as we leave this broadcast. Bless somebody tonight, somebody, oh God, who heard this broadcast, somebody whose heart was heavy, Lord, somebody who might be tuned in and they were sick. God, I thank you tonight for healing. I thank you tonight for deliverance. I thank you tonight for freedom in Jesus' precious name. And the people of God listening on this, on this broadcast say, Amen. God bless you. We love you with the love of the Lord. Until we meet again, God bless you. Do have a wonderful 
and a prayerful night. God bless you.